Hi, this is Susan from Susan B. Cards. Today I'm going to be working with the Spellbinders through the Arbor Garden collection. I have the Nasturtium and Galvanized Wash Bucket. So it's a set of four dies, and I'm going to be cutting it from some scraps that I have. I keep my scraps in file folders, color-coded, and that way I can easily go in and try to find different shades of the same colors. And I do keep some of the even smaller scraps, as you can see, because I know that there'll be little pieces for flowers and I could cut from this. So this, these are gonna be the flowers and these will be the leaves. And this will be, I think they call it the stamen that goes in the center. The wash bucket is cut from black 110 pound card stock. It cuts this into two pieces. Um, you can get rid of this, but I'm going to save it because um, I want it to look like the dirt. And then if I mount this on a card, I won't have to worry about, you know, seeing a different color on the other side in a few areas. So that I'll put aside, and these pieces I still have to cut, and I'll go do that. But I'm going to show you how um, I'm going to color this with some Lunar Paste in Shady, which is a metallic silver. And all I did, you could use, um, I'm just gonna piece of scrap paper. You could use um, a brush to put this on, but I just like using my finger. And I just lightly go through, put a little bit of paste on. It's not gonna be 100% coverage because if you've ever seen um, a galvanized wash bucket, there are our areas it starts out silver and then there's areas of black on it as well so i'm just going to go through and this is really easy to do i'll just leave a couple of spots black go around here as well so you can see it's starting to have um, a more dimensional look to it so I'm trying to go in the direction of the pieces, not just straight, but you can see I'm going with the curve of the, of the wash bucket. There's also a couple of lines engraved in here. And uh, I might go through and try to scrape a little bit of that out using um, some kind of tool. So here's the wash bucket. I did go through with this stylus and just try to scrape a little bit out of the lines, but that's okay. Some of it um, is still in there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's how the wash bucket look what looks when it's dry. So I cut the leaves out and I'm just going to edge, since they're already green, I'm just going to edge a little bit of color onto these leaves. even go back and use a darker color like um, Rustic Wilderness, but this is mowed lawn. Either a white gel pen or a white chalk marker and just draw some, just draw a few lines coming from the center. There's actually some lines um, embossed into the paper, but they're hard to see. So you could just go back and highlight it, or if you color it from, I mean, if you start from white paper, you can just avoid those areas. This one is uh, G24 Copic, just to give it a little color. To shape the flowers, I'm using um, the Sizzix shaping kit, and it comes with this pad and um, some shaping tools. I know that Spellbinders has one too uh, with Susan Tierney, who designs these dies, but I don't have that one, so um, I'm just gonna use what I have, and I'll show you how I shape and color the leaves. This was YR68, but you can use any color that's just darker than your, your paper. I 
And all I'm doing is just going from the base and kind of following the shape of the, um, the petals. And this is real easy to do, especially if you have some kind of brush marker like this. So you can see how they're colored. And then you take the padded, I don't know what that's called. Let's see if it says on here. It's a molding pad. And you shape the leaves, I mean the petals, you shape the petals just by using this ball and going around and it'll start to cup the petals. You could do it as much as or as little as you want. You just kind of go in the middle of the petal like this. That's how it is. Um, and you could also, you can take the reverse tweezers if you want and, and shape the petals even more. So now I'm going to glue the flowers together. Just putting a little glue in there. Want them to each look a little bit different, so you might put a few, a couple different ways. So just holding that for a second, and I'm going to just leave that there and let it dry. And then next, I'm doing. There's two pieces to this stamen, and there's a little notch here at the end. And then you're going to roll this in, and then you'll have this little stamen here. So I just kind of like to do a little bit before I, I glue it just to get the paper to mold easier. And then just take a little bit of glue. And then roll it inwards. Just hold it for a second and then you're going to attach the second one Just hold that in place for a minute, kind of fluff it out. I just put a glob of glue right in the center there. And then I'm gonna take this and just place it in the center and let this dry. Now that seems like it's gonna fall over later, but it doesn't. So I have a bunch of these leaves and flowers made and um, I have my bucket to dry. And here's a little black piece that, does it fit this way? No, it fits this way. That'll fit right there. Um, I haven't decided what color card to put this on yet, but I'm just gonna show you how the pieces fit. I've assembled my card and I cut it down so there'd be a, a slight border. I think I need to trim the bottom a little bit. And I'm just, I decided that um, I might need a little something in this corner. So I'm just gonna add a little fallen bud.
And that's my card today. Thanks for watching. I put all the products in my description listed below my video, and I'll have it on my blog at susanbcards.blogspot.com. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you next time.